starting your journey to financial freedom. Now. Now. You are listening to the New Investor Podcast. The Young Investor for the New Investor Podcast, and it is day 59 on our journey towards financial freedom. We are all recovering slowly from the past week, I'm sure, but that still does not matter to me or to the investor as we're in it for the long term. I am sure you have by now figured out how emotional the market can be. We like it to stay this way, however, as to offer us multiple opportunities during the year to make our moves. Bear in mind, however, that the upcoming elections in the US in 2020 is very close and many more headlines affecting the markets will come up. So I will keep building cash until then and I hope you will do so as well. I received my Apple dividends yesterday, $111, a nice number, and I am sure the first thing right now that came to your mind is how small that quarterly payment is compared to the investment I have made. Allow me then to take another angle and explain why I have chosen my investment strategy to focus only on companies paying dividends. While that number from Apple may appear small, should I currently add up the dividends payment from all my companies at the current stage of my portfolio, I would receive in 2019 $1,120 before tax. The other angle I wish to take here is through the investment I made last week following the US-China trade war headlines, I created another $356 per year worth of dividends. I had $0 at the beginning of 2019 in terms of dividends or additional income, may I remind you. I believe we must perpetually build wealth and investing in stocks that are highly volatile or offer no dividend is a mistake I made in 2018 and I ended up losing money. Looking at 2019 performance, I have without a doubt found my long-term strategy. You may find that $66 a month after tax from these dividends on average is not going to make me rich, but I trust and hope that the mindset of getting there quick has already left your body. What scares me the most is making rushed decisions on an objective of this magnitude. I build up these dividends in six months, but the process to be able to free up investment money to get these $66 is where the work is, the hardship and the sacrifice. Make no mistake about it, as well, it will take me years to build dividends that are substantial enough to at least cover a percentage of life expenses. That is another goal, but I will reinvest all my yearly dividends every year into more stocks or free stocks, which will allow my account value to compound. I feel that this is again a wise, structured and viable approach to build wealth over time. Through this podcast, I will be transparent on every move that I make as I believe there is no better way than to share the truth of a journey that will take me years. What I am excited about is hundreds of episodes down the line that I will be able to go back to this one with a very different net worth and prove that anyone can do this Anyone can change their future provided they are not in a rush, leading them to make dumb decisions with their money, that they have stayed the course, grew their income, lived with little and got rid of all bad debt. This is my future. The future me must be able to thank the present me for all he did, not curse him. I don't know about you, but what scares me the most is to be filled with regret. If I had to talk about regret, not starting to invest already 10 years ago is my biggest one, and I already feel regret down to my bones. I can't even begin to imagine what regret feels like when you're 65 years old and you have nothing. Knowing this, my approach now is to make up for the time I have lost, which will require double efforts on my part. This is my cross to carry, and once this is fixed, I will drop it and never think of it again. Bill Gates, I think, said something true, very true, along the lines that if you're born poor, it is not your fault, but if you die poor, it is entirely your fault. He did not simply refer to money. It also means that you would have taken full ownership of your future, changed your situation with drastic solutions, educated yourself to give you the necessary tools for success, 
worked hard to grow your income, been creative to open new sources of income, probably failed along the way many, many times, but by knowing the alternative, you got up again and marched. It is an attitude, a mindset, and a way of life. I am far from my goal. I will fail multiple times, but I am so glad that I will, as this is exactly what will make me successful. I wish you a fantastic Friday. Thank you.